The University of Alaska Fairbanks predicts the aurora borealis will be visible low on the horizon in Vancouver over the next two days, but an astronomer says you shouldn't expect it to be very big. They might see something, it just uh, it won't be like the bright, colorful green that you're, you're thinking that you'll see, right? It would be more, I've heard it described as like a weird looking cloud. Lee Cox says the KP, the level of geomagnetic activity that shows how intense the aurora will be, is only at a four on Wednesday and Thursday. The most optimal levels for Vancouver to spot the natural light show are above that. I'd say it's worth it if you're diehard interested. If you're not, then maybe wait till a higher higher KP value. It might make it more worth your time. The admin of the Facebook group BC Aurora Enthusiasts says downloading tracking apps or joining Aurora chasing groups will help you decide if it's worth sitting outside in the dark for a few hours to try and catch the fluorescent hues. If you think that the data is strong enough for where you are, then it's, it's best to go out. Vancouver does usually require fairly strong aurora. It's kind of off on on the outside of the aurora belt. Having caught many auroras on camera himself, Romain says if you don't see much in Vancouver, travel further north in BC. But it's not always having to go that far either. It can be going into the Okanagan will improve the chances or even going um, up in the Cache Creek. Lee Cox says the best time to chase the aurora is around midnight. So happy hunting. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.